Hey, what's up everyone? So tomorrow Blue Archives should be dropping two new banners as well as the first raid. Um, I'll probably have a separate video on the first raid later this week, but this video is just going to be kind of my unfiltered uh, opinions on kind of the two new banners. So we'll have Mashiro, who is a three-star uh, specialist sniper, and then we're going to also run Aru, who is a, a three-star backline sniper unit so this is uh first off a bit different than jp in that they're running a dual banners here so they're running these two at the same time uh, one thing i wanted to note is that mashiro is not a limited unit she should eventually become farmable in the pvp shop i just wanted to kind of make that clear at the start of the video that she sh you should eventually be able to just manually farm this unit over time uh, and get her um, the rest of this video, I'm just going to kind of uh, shoot the shit on just uh, my thoughts on them. I'm not going to really, like, bait anyone and do, like, you have to roll this or totally skip. But I I'll just kind of, like, say what I think and whatnot. Because um, I do think these both these units are pretty solid. I think every unit in Blue Archives going to be solid at some sort of content, right? So first, Mashiro. Uh, Mashiro kind of has a weird kit in my opinion. So first off, her EX skill, she does like okay damage to a single target enemy, and then has a 50% chance just to do a more damage to an enemy. Uh, the thing is, is if you compare this to Karen, even if you just take this higher number, Karen's doing more damage, um, but Karen also does additional damage to a very large enemy. I mean, they're not directly comparable because Karen's doing yellow damage and Mashiro's doing red damage, but it does kind of just show that it's a bit of a disappointing multiplier for sure. It is nice though that this is only a three call set that is more helpful. Uh, her normal skill is kind of weird too in that it's doing AoE damage, so she's not like even fully specializing on single target. She's kind of doing a mix of both. Um, this is every 20 seconds though, so it's pretty, it's spammed a good bit. And then our passive skill increases our crit rate, that's pretty good. And then our last skill, I think this one's pretty good for PvP actually. Since a lot of people, especially in the early game where we're at right now, uh, use evasion tanks, um, in the PvP meta. So I think increasing your team's accuracy is a solid counter there. Um, in terms of content she's good at, I mean, she's good at, like, just progression through story. Like, I know if I had a Maki, I would be using it. Not a Maki, sorry. If I had a... I've probably been calling her Maki this whole time. If I had a Mashiro on my account, which I don't, well, because she's not out yet. But if I, if I were just able to, like, get her for free, I would, because she would uh, help me clear stages that I can't clear right now. So... Her uh, EX skill is going to be good just against any red boss enemy, basically. Um, And then she'll be okay on, like, just future red raids. However, those future raids that need red damage uh, should, should uh, come uh, later than the other ones. So it's not like you immediately need to get a Mashiro. So that's why... Personally, with me, I'm just going to farm her in the PvP shop, because I do want to get her. But I'm just going to slowly uh, farm her in the PvP shop, and then eventually get her. And probably by that time, maybe I can use her for the future Red Raid content. So now, the next up is Aru. Aru's really good, in my opinion. Um, Aru just does a bunch of explosion damage. That's about it. Like, all her skills, they just do damage, and then these two skills increase her crit rate a lot to do even more damage. She has pretty good stats. Yeah, I think she's just good all around. Um, I have her on my account right now, and she's definitely helped me uh, just beat red stages easier in the story, as well as clear bounty missions higher than my level. So in terms of just account progression, she's amazing. Um, for PvP... Uh, I think she's kind of hit or miss, personally. She either, like, kills everything in PvP, or she just dies instantly. It's not, it's like one or the other. 
Um, the reason she dies instantly is because of the white armor and, uh, I don't know, PvP's kind of luck base. Maybe the enemy's Hibiki just bolts and then she just dies instantly. But yeah, she's... Yeah, I, I don't know what I would say with PvP, honestly. Uh, she's like all over the place. And then for Rage, she's going to be good on later Rage, similar to the Mashiro as well, um, that need uh, red damage. Uh, but those shouldn't be for a while, so... If I didn't have Aru on my account, I would probably just wait for the Gacha Gods to bless me um, to give her. Because eventually, you should just randomly get her, would be my theory. Um, but if you want her just right now, and she's your waifu, I think she's for sure pretty worth it. Um, she's fantastic. Um, yeah, so me personally, I'm just going to be skipping both of these. Uh... Personally, because I already have an Aru, and then Mashiro, I feel like I can just kind of farm from the PvP shop. And also, I'm really saving for Azuna, who I got absolutely screwed on. I never got her on JP. I rolled quite a bit, never got her, so I'm going to make sure to get Azuna. Um, and yeah, we'll talk more about Azuna once she comes out. But she'll be more immediately useful, and uh, I, I, yeah, she's like a waifu for sure for me. All right, so that'll be everything from me. Um, good luck for anyone rolling for these characters, and y'all take it easy. Peace. See you in the next.